Guys, what what is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy Seek, Scary Blue, um, Zumbo Sauce, Ban Ban, um, Nab Nab. Um, I forgot his name, the Fog Dude, and um, yeah. Flo Saline, Bambalina, Stinger Flynn, a Pillar Bone, and Awesome Huggy Wuggy. This is a me, but like, I don't want to use it. And Blue and. Uh, I mean, um, Kissy Missy, Kill Me Willy, um, Choo Choo Tarvos, like, Boxy Boo, but, like, not evil, and we have Evil the Boxy Boo. We have Squid Game Huggy Wuggy, we have Baby Huggy Waggy, and Blue, and Freddy Fad, but oink, 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 oink. We have Creepy Green, we have, um, Happy Huggy Waggy. Look how happy he is. And we have, um, what the hell? <laughs> we have, um, nobody kills Huggy Waggy. <coughs> <coughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. My, my voice sounded kind of different there. I just <clears throat> I think I had something stuck in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, any, anyway, what, what, what one's your favorite? Uh, anyway, how, uh, what, 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 I'm getting ahead of myself here. Oh, hi everyone. Hello. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Hi everyone. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? How's it going? Hi. Oh. It's June. It's June. It was June on Sunday, but I was distracted. But now it's June and I can properly welcome in the, the summer air that's just rolling on in. Look at this. Nothing's on fire anymore. Beautiful green grass. Beautiful green trees. Clear skies. I'm just chilling here. It's the pride. Hi. Yo. Uh. <clears throat> well. Let me turn the music back up. It's good to see you. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Shizuka. Welcome, welcome. Green Eagle. Welcome, Gray Snow, Phenexia, welcome, welcome, hello, hello, Spy Dragon, hello, Soda Man, hello, Stardust Whip, hello, Alrixian, hello, Terra, hello, Green Eagle, hello, I think I said hi to you already, but, well, hello again, Gray, hello, how are you, Poppy Seed, hello, Gray Snow, hello, I forgot who I said hi to already, uh, Slowpoke, hello, Spookwater, hello, welcome, Sir Sploit, welcome to the stream, welcome, welcome, how are you? Hi, everyone. Game I don't know, want to know about, thanks. Hell yeah, me too, though, actually. Me too, though, actually. Hi. Flicky, thank you for the resub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, well, book fair at the school today. Yo! Hell yeah, book fair. Classic. They're gonna have all the classics at the book fair. Give me, give me, a, give me a book recommendation that you're gonna be, uh... They're gonna be, you're, you're gonna be, uh, promoting. You're like, oh yeah, hell yeah, like, what, this book? Giving Tree? Fucking, this, this book fucking rules. You won't believe what happens at the end of Giving Tree. Um. I'm not that poppy? Well, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, we'll see. It's Giving Tree. <laughs> it's Giving Tree. Anything by Rick Riordan, Percy Jackson author. Yo, you know I've never. Well, I don't read, but I'm, I've never read Percy Jackson. Um, but I've heard good things. Checking in from a mysterious place. Whoa, let me see. Whoa, very mysterious. That looks like an album cover. All of your pictures look like album covers. I'm pretty sure you're not real. Hi, August. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Whoa, a nature? Couldn't be me. I don't know what that is. Don't know her. I'll read it to you. Aw, that's sweet. Percy Jackson is the best. I recently reread the first books as an adult and they still hold up. Dang, we love that. We love books that are like good when you're a kid and then actually just good in general. Xanth the Proto, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. You're literally just in time. We're just getting started. Hell yes, welcome on in, welcome, welcome. I haven't even moved on over yet to the just chatting screen, which I'll do right now. Welcome on in. Hope your stream was good. Welcome, welcome. Boom. 
Jammies, 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 hell yes. It was great. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yo. Um, thank you for the raid. Thank you. I understand if you have to raid and run. Um, streaming make me tired, so I totally get it. But if not, you're welcome to hang around. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. I saw you cough, you lose stream. Oh, thanks for watching that. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was dumb. The whole time I was setting that up, you know, weirdly a lot of work for 30 minutes of stream. Well, 25 minutes of starting soon and five minutes of content. A lot of work went into that. Um, that was dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. Thank you for watching that. And it was my birthday, so hell yeah. Did you enjoy the food? You know, I was eating that soup after stream. I was eating the soup and I was like, this is not bad. Actually, I enjoy the spice. But then as I kept eating, how are you supposed to eat the whole can of chicken noodle soup when you make chicken noodle soup? Like, is that one serving or is that like three servings? Cause I can't tell. That feels like a lot of food. It was, I just had a big bowl in front of me and I was eating it, and I'm like, you know, this is getting less good the more I eat it. How big was the can? I don't know, normal? It was normal sized? Uh, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. I always eat the whole can. Well, you know what? Normally, Campbell's chicken noodle soup is a little bit mild. Which is, I think, a good thing, because I don't want anything too heavy or too complex. When I'm having Campbell's chicken noodle soup, normally I'm like sick or out of food or something. I want something that's, you know, a little salty, a little savory, a little, you know, a little stuff going on, but not too much stuff, you know? And at first I was like, this one is good. This is an improvement because it's definitely really spicy. It's not like unbearable. It's, uh, on Sunday I said it was about 75% the spice of, um, Bulldog noodles one-time spicy bulldog noodles, but after thinking about it, it's maybe about halfway. It's like 50% bulldog one-time spicy level. But the problem wasn't the spice, because I like the spice. The problem was that it was very, very sour, like vinegary sour. Like it feels like someone spilled vinegar or Tabasco sauce or something into the soup, like way too much. So at first you're like, wow, this has a kick, you know? This is definitely, it has more of a kick than regular Campbell's chicken noodle soup, this is an upgrade. And then you start to eat a little bit more and you're like, I can't finish this. So I had to throw out like half the can, like more than half the can. Uh, so I don't know, you know, at first I was into it, but um, after having it a bit, it's not really that good, I think. I, you're better off just putting a little bit of sriracha in regular chunky Campbell's chicken noodle soup or something. Or, you know, a more spicy hot sauce if you want like an actual kick. That's my recommendation. That's my actual food review. Yes, it was a bit. <laughs> I needed to set up my uh, foot pedals to end the stream suddenly so that you wouldn't have to see me reach for the button. Um, and yeah, that's basically the only time I've ever used my foot pedal because I've had this for like a year or so, like two years by now. And it finally came in handy, so there you go. There you go, it worked out. It was dumb. It was really dumb. It was really dumb. At first I thought it was funny. Then I realized it's actually really stupid. Then I realized it was so stupid and it might actually loop back into being funny again. So that's, yeah, I committed. It was a bit, your honor. Uh, they should uh, add like a amendment to the freaking constitution that says that if it's a bit, then you can do whatever. You know, like, oh, I plead the... How many amendments are there? 10? 20? How many fucking amendments are there? How many amendments are there? There are 27 amendments? What the hell? I don't know about any of these, except the Bill of Rights. And I only know, like, two bill Bills of Rights. Okay. Well, I think the 28th Amendment could be... It was a bit, your honor. Hi, Quint. Hi. Art Vapor, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. What's your favorite amendment? My favorite amendment is... Um, probably... 
Um, hmm, all of these are pretty good, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, these are all pretty good. Except the bear arms should be otter arms instead. Constitution reading stream win? Uh, when I run for office, maybe. Uh, come November. Maybe come November when I run for political power. I mean office, not just power. My favorite amendments were the friends we made along the way. That's so beautiful. I love that. God bless you. Anyway, uh, yep, yeah, this is, uh, yep, this is where we're at right now. We're playing some Poppy's Playtime today. It's my first time playing Poppy's Playtime ever. But after playing Indigo Park, I don't know, I kind of got a uh, mascot horror fever. Uh, I kind of, I'm kind of into the genre now. Although, Indigo Park was not very scary. Maybe they were just buttering you up, you know? Maybe they don't want to be too scary right off the bat, because I don't know how many chapters they're going to have. Probably more than two, maybe three or four or five or something, I don't know. Um, And it was not scary, so I don't know, I don't know if Poppy Playtime is scary. Is it scarier than Indigo Park? Because I would be disappointed if it, if it was not scarier. Yes? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, good. All I ask is you never play Garden of Banban. -Ban. I cannot promise you anything. I make no promises here. It's very spoopy, really? Like, is it? Am I actually gonna be scared? Okay. Well. Do not the Banban. -Ban. Why? Can't be that bad. I played Garn Forty Seven, which I thought was a masterpiece. Even though I missed, like, most of the badges. But I got all the four- I got all four songs. Garn 47 was fucking great. That shit was awesome. So, you know, I- I, I like a game that's a little rough around the edges, you know? Uh... So yeah, there you go. Banban -Ban doesn't have car. What does it have? What does it have instead? What does this game have? It'd be quite the cursed stream. Is it, like... Is it playable, though? Like, that's my question. It must be, right? Oh, we need a car emote. We need a- we need a char emote. Chester car. I- I bet I could make that in Blender in, like, an hour. Uh... I always say that. I always say- I bet I could do this in ten minutes. It takes me three hours. I- I say- I, I bet I could do this in an hour. It takes me two days. So... Yeah, well, we won't be doing that, but... Maybe. Is under siege. Yo, Sleepy Doge, thank you for the raid again. Thank you, appreciate it. Welcome on in, welcome, welcome. Is that Andre behind? It sure is. Andre's reading his book. We got Whiskey over there, jamming out. Right behind Ron's Rogue, also jamming out. Hell yes, let's zoom out a little bit. And we got Cheated Tequila in the corner, just vibing. Hell yes. We love that, we love it. Everyone's jamming, hell yeah. So, chapter one is not very long, right? I heard it was anywhere between an hour and like two hours, somewhere between one and two hours. Knowing me, I'm gonna get stuck and it'll take me like five hours. So, I mean, we'll see what, we'll see what, what's up. Knowing me, knowing you, uh-huh, there's nothing we can do. That's me when I'm lost in the video game. Thank you, Husky. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. I just got into the V2 of the furry VTuber recently. It's really fun to see that so many of them are friends. Yeah, it's a small world out there. It's a small world. Um, Andre is amazing and super nice and amazingly skilled. Um... And thinking about Andre and thinking about Andre's artwork makes me happy. That's all, that's what I gotta say. I will say more if if prompted. Um, but hell yeah, yo, uh, welcome on in. I'm 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 glad you're here. Please check out you know anyone in V for for just just to start. I mean, there's so many more talent. There's so much more talent out there. It's hardly exhaustive. Uh, hardly, barely. Um, but you know, yeah, hell yeah. I'm excited for you. Um, hi, yo, Chester. Hi, Drake Blackwell. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? 
I'm at Ferality. Yo, I forgot about Ferality happening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ferality. Is that that's with this weekend, huh? How do you spell Andre's channel? I can't find it. It's Andre, just like you spelled it. Underscore Moraf. M O R A P H. Andre underscore Moraf. Uh, highly recommend you follow. Very good art streams. Um, I, I literally bust out the Andre streams and I take notes. I, fr I freaking open up the notebook. And I'm like, let me see how this person freaking plays Adobe After Effects like a fiddle. It's insane. I want to add you on VR chat. I, 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 I've not gone to Ferality before. And I honestly, I, there was a period where I went on, went, went on VR like every other night. And it's been a while. It's been a hot second. I don't know. I'm, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I barely go on anymore. But I appreciate it. I appreciate the support. Let's see. Let me scroll up a little bit, see what I missed. Chirality. Hmm. I missed out a lot on chapter two. Huh? Well, we're, we're going to play chapter one today. This is, this is my first time playing Poppy's Playtime. First time. First time playthrough Blind React. I don't know anything about this game except that it's got hands. That you got, you got two hands and there's a freaking crazy blue guy. And I think his name is Huggy Wuggy. But I don't know what my favorite is yet. I don't know what my favorite. Huggy Wuggy, Seek Scary Blue, I'm not sure. Zumbo Sauce, I don't know. Ban Ban, Nab Nab, I, I don't know. I forgot his name, the Frog Dude. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out what that's about today. All right, well, it's been 20, 23 minutes. And Rambly, true, and Rambly, can't forget Rambly. That Rambly's my favorite, obviously. All right, well, well, we're all here. We're all warmed up. You got your seats warmed up. You farted on it to warm it up. You know, you broke it in. How long did it take for you to fart in your chair when you first got your chair? Do you remember? Or is your chair one of those, like, hand-me-down chairs from, like, forever ago? Because I bought this chair about two years ago, and I assembled it myself. I bought it from Staples for about $300 because I wanted a good one with lumbar support and all that. And, uh... Took me like months, literally months, to fart in it. I would stand up, walk to the other side of the room and fart, and then come back and sit back down. Cause I didn't want it to like smell. But like all good things, you know, they get farted on eventually. Hi, Chris. Hi, Jonathan. Joester. Hello. Welcome, welcome. I wasn't talking about anything in particular. Forget it. Uh, forget it. Forget. Forget uh, what I said. Anyway, welcome on in. Let's uh, let's play some video game. Want to pause the music right there? I'm glad I heard Chris speak. No, 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 no. I didn't say anything about that. No, no. We're playing Pop Poppy's Playtime today, and I'm a little sleepy. So uh, hopefully this game will wake me up a little bit. That's my hope for today. That's what we're doing. Um, all right, well, may as well dive right in then. This is my first time opening up the game. Hopefully it runs. Normally I test it out beforehand, but I didn't this time. Did I thank you, th Sangy Husky? Thank you again for the resub. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Um, and Art Vapor and Flicky, thank you again. Hell yeah. Just wanted to make sure I didn't forget. I'm, I'll be very forgetful today. Just a fair warning. Let me double click this. Double click the game. It's already looking pretty scary. The icon, the game icon's looking really scary. It says launching running install script Microsoft VC redistributable. See, I don't know why it does that. Every time I run a new game, it's like, it's got to run Microsoft VC redistributable version 2019. Like, I don't know what that shit is. I don't get it. Just let me play. I don't understand these computer things. Okay, it's launching, it's launching. You have to always fart in it to stockpile the heat so in the winter months you can release the heat to keep you warm. Do you keep your, what? How do you keep your farts in a jar or something? How do you keep it in the chair? Hmm. 
it's okay. It's running install script Microsoft.net framework. It's doing all this stuff. I don't understand. I don't understand, but it's doing it. It's taking a long time. Memory foam. Oh my god, I want to forget. Hmm. Okay, you know, I really should have tested this out beforehand. Hopefully this runs okay. Hopefully. You fart in the jar. Didn't didn't Amaranth like actually like go to the hospital for having to fart so much in a jar? Like actually unironically? I feel like that's a thing that happened. Okay, tell me if there's a full screen. How do I full screen this? Okay. You have to select a chapter, then it's full screen. Got it. Boom, boom, boom. Give it a second to kick in. At least that's not as bad as what Whiskey did with the lava lamp. Oh my God, I blocked that story out of my mind. <laughs> don't, don't bring up the lava lamp story. Jesus. Uh, all right. Rambly's VA did a clip saying not to buy fake Rambly plushies. It's hilarious. Yeah, like, come on, y'all. Don't buy bootlegged. You want to support the developer. They're a small developer. That's like people buying bootlegged Chester plushies. I'd be so sad. I'd be like, that's money you could be giving me for an authentic quality product. You know what I mean? I don't think there are any bootlegged Chester plushies, thankfully. Don't get any ideas. I would highly disapprove. Hello. Hi, Yoshi dude. Welcome, welcome. All right. Let's check the settings. First thing you got to do. We got music. We got sound. I'll, I'll leave it. We got border list, which is good. Resolution. We want to turn that all the way up. What are you talking about here? Come on. Come on, y'all. 60 FPS because that's what I stream at. So I mean, may as well. Subtitles. Why not? Game language English, mouse speed, FOV, you know, I'd have to see the game first. I always turn up the brightness. Graphics best, honestly, can get very choppy. Can, be, can get very choppy with uh, all the stream software that I have up, so I gotta turn this stuff down. You know, turn it down, turn it down a little bit. I have a pretty decent PC, but it's, uh, you know, when it's got all the, the streaming stuff running at the same time, it starts to get really choppy. Motion blur, no thanks. Always no thanks. Honestly, probably V. We're probably gonna need V Sync. That's it's, it's an issue I run into a lot. Um, draw distance. We could do better for draw distance. And uh, th that's this is the reset button, right? Does that save? Oh, I ha have to apply this. Hang on. Did it? Did it change the res? I don't. Did it change the resolution? Because it didn't, like, normally the screen goes black and just... Um... Uh, okay. I mean, whatever. I mean, technically I stream at, like, a weird resolution. I stream at, like, like, 864p, so technically I could just do 16, 1600 by 900 and none of you would be able to tell the difference because... I don't stream at a full resolution. Do I re do I restart the game now? Like it didn't look like it re. Um. Yeah, let me just quit and start again. Just want to make sure the. Uh, I want to make sure that it all went through properly. Sorry about that. I got one of my wisdom teeth removed today. Rip my intelligence. Wisdom and intelligence are not the same. And plus, you only got one of them removed? I had, like, four of them removed. No, maybe two. I think I only had two removed. Uh, and it was not fun. I hope you're recovering all right. Uh, that was not a fun procedure for me. Um, they All they did was numb my gums, and then they yanked out a whole freaking tooth. I remember it hurting quite bad. I had two removed as a teenager. The, this one had a cavity. You, oh my god, you had three total? All right, all right. Yeah, rip rip your wisdom damn that's rough well i'm glad you got it taken care of i hope it heals all right these are so painful really are they painful 
I thought these I thought these games were good. All right, let's play. An ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Ooh, okay. Let's see what's going on here. What happened? You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Ooh. That's Poppy? I've never seen this character in my life. And she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Aw. Can you me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it. And smells just like a Poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Whoa, Poppy? six dollars? That's a steal. Come on. Come on now. What year is this? This eyes are concerning. It literally looks like every Disney character. What are you talking about? It's Elsa and Anna and everyone else. Co is now offering factory tours at just two ninety nine a person. An entire hour and the look at all those hands. Look at all those faces. Come visit the factory. Ooh, uh oh. What's going on here? Whoa. Some evil shit happening at the factory. Do good things ever happen at factories? Ever? Alright. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Did they morph into the mascots or something? What's going on? King Tanner, hi! How are you? Welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. They all morphed! Ooh, 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 ooh. Escape to pause. You know, the, uh, the aliasing's pretty bad. Let me turn up the aliasing a little bit. A uh, Anti-aliasing. Let's see here. Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Okay. Heck yeah! Um, I can't do anything right now. Whoa! Tab to view items. Items. Okay, I have to put it in a in little TV here. Can I? How do I uh, put it in the TV? Oh, that's not a VCR player. It's a computer. I knew that. Is this a TV? It's a box. Already off to a great start here. Whoa. Poppy wants to play. I like it. E to interact. Okay, well, I don't know the code for this. Okay, it's a four it's a four color code. Keep your eyes out. Whoa, what the heck? Who's this? Whose persona is this? It's a little dark, isn't it? Here, let me see if I can turn it up a little bit. I know I'll get a flashlight or something, maybe, eventually, but... VOD's always save darker, so, you know, it doesn't hurt to turn it up a little bit. Okay, so I can run, I can jump, I can crouch. Oh, there it is, there it is. The green VCR player, got it. Hi. My name is Leif Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves... There's a bit of, like, camera tilting when you walk side to side. Do you notice that? It's making me, like... Slightly queasy. We'll the I think the fact that it's slight and makes it worse. The more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. 
It's not too late to turn around. I just hope. I I I I zoned out. I wasn't paying attention. What did he say? Did the do the animatronics get quirky at night? Do they do they free roam at night? What's going on here? How quirk are we talking? So, I'm seeing some uh, blood, it seems like. And a blue hand icon that I don't... I don't have the blue hand yet. And also, we're going to be needing a... Uh, we're going to be needing a four-color code sometime soon. Keep your eyes peeled. Eat healthy like brawn? Aw, what the fuck? I love brawn. Are you kidding me? God damn, these games? No wonder they're good. The art is always so good for these games. Okay. The boogie bot? The huggy? The huggy wuggy? Um, Leith told us not to give out spoilers. Yeah, you better, you better, you've been warned. They all got turned into toys. All the employees got turned into toys. I want to turn into Candy Cat. I want to turn into, um, Brawn, actually. Boogie Bot is alright, I wouldn't be upset. You know how, like, you know, you play, like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, you're like, man, I wish I could wake up and be a po fucking Pokemon. But it's like, what if you woke up and you were a Pokemon that you didn't like? You're like, ugh, the fuck, Trico? I don't want to be this. Then what? Then it's like, well, I gotta get back to my home planet. Like when the Isekai goes wrong. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry you got turned into an Omter. It's not so bad, really. It's not bad at all. No, 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 I can't complain. Uh, it says welcome. I'm looking for, uh, here, let's look around for a code. Give me a code somewhere. Hello. Already read, thank you for the resub. Whoa, a tier three resub. Thank you, holy shit. Thank you. You wake up in your Trubbish. Okay, I actually love Trubbish though, like, not even joking. I actually like Trubbish a lot, so I guess I wouldn't really mind that much. Although they probably smell. Although, I don't think Trubbishes have a nose, so it's everyone else's problem, I think. Not my problem, it's your problem. You would hate that I turn into a Trubbish, not me. The world does not love Trubbish. Trubbish is so fucking cute. Like, yeah, the idea of a trash can- like, a trash bag is a little silly, true, but... Look, he's this little guy, you know? He's little- whoa, what the fuck was that? My camera did something weird when I stepped on it. Staff only. Hmm. Staff only. How do I get in here? I'm looking for. We're already stuck on the first puzzle. When the poppy is pleased. Time. Already stuck on the first puzzle. Yo, sweet cacao. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. All right. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You better not spoil it. All right. Let's. Uh. Let's. Let's look for- let's look for hints here. Green, pink, yellow, red. 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 Oh my goodness. Not a very secure password. Now let's look for the blue tape. Looking for the blue tape. It's here, right in front of me. That part wasn't meant to be a puzzle, but it still took me an extra second. The grab pack. Tighten the straps. Hold both cannons. Pull the trigger to fire! That's kind of awesome though, not gonna lie. Always gotta like, you know, check behind you in a horror game, in case you're wondering. Only fire at small objects. Do not fire at a coworker. Oh my god, you pulled his head off! 
I didn't know it was that strong. Oh. Oh, you can... Okay, you can solve, like... Like, like electricity puzzles. Got it. What's the time? Playtime company. You know, normally I, I have to turn my mouse sensitivity down. This is a rare case where I feel like I need to turn it up a little bit. And let me try turning up the FOV as well. That barely made a difference for the FOV. Let me turn it up a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's a little that's a little better, I think. It's a little better. Is that too much? I wish they gave me a number. Like what am I working with here? Ooh. Yeah, like what's my FOV right now? I usually like to keep it at 90 horizontal. Or like 75 vertical. I'm starting to see a little bit of warping. Right? Is it warping a bit? Or is that just me? No, I can't tell. Let me turn it down a little bit. Here, let me let me turn it all the way up and see what it looks like. Wait, it didn't make a difference. Has it has the, has it been in my head the whole time? All right, whatever. A few days ago, I played Indigo Park, and now I'm absolutely obsessed with Rambly. Wow, did I write that? Are you me? Huh? What's going on here? I'm seeing what's. I'm seeing what they're putting down here. I'm. I'm seeing. I'm seeing what. What's going on here? Look at this. Pop. Wait. I, I just want to get a hang of this. Let me see if I can grab that computer screen. Can I, like, pull it towards me? Oh, I, I, I get to see how long my arm can stretch. That's kind of cool. Okay, so holding the button pulls it towards me. Oh, you have to double, double click. Double click and hold, right? Alright, that takes a little bit of getting used to. Got it, got it. Do you did you know the VA for Rambly fellow Otter Boy? I've heard, so I've heard. Well, I think they did a really good job. So I've heard. Big ears. Yo, is that Hoggy Woggy? Is that Hoggy Woggy? Huggy Wuggy 1984. Playtime Company has designed hundreds of distinct toys, still, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, aimed to create a toy which could hug you forever! As always, as is always true, Playtime Company's four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Company's most popular and best-selling toy so far. Is that what he sounds like? A little goofball? Ooh. Huggy Wuggy. Huggy. I'm a little unnerved already, I'll be honest. I'm already a little bit unnerved. You better not be fucking moving around and shit. What? Um... Slap his shit, you know you want to? I only have one hand per cheek right now. I know I'll get more later. How about a high five? Hell yeah, we're friends, right? You're not gonna fucking kill me or anything, right? Dude, I'm scared. 
You let me in. You let me in, I'm scared. Huggy Wuggy. Slap his face? No, 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 we're friends. I, I could never do that. What did I get my- what are the- what was the key for? Hmm. Oh, nice. There's little Huggy Wuggies in here. Um, my favorite is probably this guy over here. And, uh, this, this little dinosaur is not so bad either. You can barely see. Um, I would say... Number one. Number two. Then Huggy Wuggy. And then, I don't know, whatever the fuck that is. Who cares about that? Who cares about the robot? Um. Well, geez. I, I got a key, but I don't know where it goes. Oh, wait, hang on. We probably want to go to power. And turn the power back on. Staff only? Well, I am staff. He's still there, right? Hmm. Man, I, I don't get a flashlight or anything. Who did that? That's a big freaking... Oh, I thought it was an apple. But it's uh, a little dino head. Little dino head, remember. Be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare Lathe Pierre. Don't stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation wing without authorization. The innovation wing. Interesting. 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 You know, I've, I've been playing a few horror games here and there. Actually, the truth is, I don't, um, I don't love being scared. I'm actually kind of a weenie. Like, that, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit of a weenie. Grab to divert power. But I only have one hand. Where am I diverting power to? Am I doing it? Oh, that's clever. I like that. Where do I where do I bring this? Oh. Oh, okay. I'm learning. Okay. Uh-oh, why did my camera just spin around? Uh-oh, well, uh, Huggy Wuggy's gone. Oh, fuck. It's just fun to say Huggy Wuggy, I'm sorry. Where'd he go? <laughs> Who was there? There was no one there in the first place? Then who's... Then whose ass did I slap? <gasps> then whose... What? Excuse me? Whose ass was that the whole time? Then who was ass? Who was fucking ass though? Thank you, time thank you. Huggies. huggies! Thank you for the resub, Turtless. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, and Sweet Cacao, thank you as well. Thank you, thank you. Hell yes! Hello! Yes! I'm not scared. I'm not scared. You're scared. Shut up. Whatever. This is way scarier than Indigo Park, and I just started. Because no one's... No one's that cute. So therefore, I'm scared. You know what I mean? That, that's the problem. Except the dinosaur. But they're not talking to me. So I don't really, you know... I don't really know what they're like. A 
Let's find the yellow tape. Dead Space Steam Pipe Jump Scare. Classic. Classic. Can we get a Frat Boy Classic? Classic. Indigo Park was not It wasn't. It wasn't scary at all. Which you know, made it really approachable, but, you know. Remember to take breaks. Breaks longer than 10 minutes are not permitted. Okay, Mr. Krabs. What does Mr. Krabs run this place? Alright, let's see here. Hmm, Frat Boy Classic. I got something. What was that? So do- if I pause, do enemies still chase me or no? Cause I, I might, you know, sometimes I might want to like, you know, take a second. If I'm- if I'm really stressed out. You know, that's really cute. I like that art a lot. It's like Wendy's, but better. I got Wendy's the other day. And I went through the drive-thru and it took forever. And they forgot my nuggets. They forgot my Diet Dr. Kelp. And I was already home. Always check your freaking drive through orders before you leave. I know it's annoying and maybe you feel bad for the cars behind you. But you gotta check. I was- I was really mad. <laughs> I was so hungry. I was hungry and angry. And I drove all the way back and I was like, can I have my nuggets please? I was ready to be like, where are my nuggets? You forgot my nuggets. But then when I saw the dude, he was—he seemed like a pretty nice dude. So I, I didn't want to make a scene. Ah, uh, I was just like, I didn't get my nuggets. Can I please have them? And I got them. And it was all right. It was okay. Just gotta make sure. Every time I get wings stop delivered, they forget my drink or give me the wrong one. My drink? Yeah, that's a bummer. Honestly, like, when you're hungry and that kind of shit happens, like, I get it. I don't want to be too mean to, like, food service workers and stuff, you know? It's, it's rough out there. But when you're hungry, man, you, you're not thinking straight. You're just thinking me. Me, me, my food. I paid money for this. And it's upsetting. But it's okay. It's alright. They always forget my straw. Um, I don't know. I don't like getting straws, so I, don't, I guess I don't mind. I just lap it up like a dog. Once I got the order of another person and they ordered more stuff, but I'm a vegetarian and there was me in it. No, no, damn. Damn, and I bet they got their order and it was just grass. You just ordered grass. And they're like, what the fuck? Hungry is a primal human emotion. Yeah, do you think hung hunger is going to be in Inside Out too? They better. Hunger. Hangry. I think that the emotions in Inside Out 2... Alright, here's how to make Inside Out 2 really good, right? You listening, Pixar? Take some notes, because I know you're losing money and shit. You know how in Steven Universe, um... The... The crystal gems can, like, fuse together to make, like, cool new designs? Well... I think that the emotions in Inside Out should be able to fuse and make new designs as well. Like hunger and anger making hangry. I think that would be really cool. All I wanna do is see you turn into hangry. E e. Oh, give me the freaking package. Hunger and sadness is depression. Hell yeah. Well, I mean, you can be depressed without being hungry. What are you talking about? Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way. I got two hands. Who's got two thumbs and is playing Poppy Playtime? Boom, boom. Gotta watch out. I gotta watch my back. Damn, that, that cat is really adorable. I hope they chase me in a future chapter. God, I- God, I hope they chase me. Okay, so I need to divert- 
I need More a different like power into this. So, is there like, do I save? Is there like auto saves and stuff? What happens if I die? I like, do I have to worry about that? Cal, thank you for the resub. Thank you. I fear Inside Out 2 is going to suck. Well, you got to get over your fears because it is going to suck, probably. I think it will. I'm sorry. You look scrungleable. Depends on what you think happens after death. And if you die in the game, you die in real life. Oh, I fucking can't wait. How do I get up there? I'm I'm pretty scrungable, it's true. My scrungability is it's kinda it's kinda off the charts. I'm not gonna lie. Damn well it's not it's not letting me go oh, we can go here maybe. Maybe we can go here. We have an ad coming up, by the way, and well, actually, it's it's still a little ways off, so there's uh, I don't have to worry about that just yet. What about scrunkability? Uh, I'm not me. I'm not. I'm a little scrunkable, maybe, maybe. Some say I, I'm somewhat scrunkable. Let's do a little fancy maneuver here. Boom. Yo! Look at that! Oh, hang on, I'm sitting funny and my legs are fucking... falling asleep over here. There are auto save points. Okay, 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 that's good. That's good, because I will be dying a lot. Just, just letting you know now. Uh-oh! Not the body parts. Ah, oh, gross. This is like Toy Story 3. Remember that scene in Toy Story 3? Oh, God. So far, nothing scary has happened. Am I supposed to be memorizing the layout of this um, factory? Because, uh... I do not know. <laughs> I do not know the layout very well. Chesty's Playtime! Hi, Bug! Hi! How are you? Hell yeah, we're planning on playing this. Make a friend! Oh, it's like Build-A-Bear. What does it say? Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Company's greatest feats. Yet all the amazing things that he created, the Make a Friend Machine is one of the most... Uh, uh, of all the amazing things he created, the Make a, Make a Friend Machine is one of the most creative, impressive... Always gotta check your back. Uh, creative, impressive, advanced... The most creative, impressive, and advanced. It's solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Company toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for a complex sorting or back-breaking labor. The machine can do it. Can do all that and more. Needs power. Damn. Needs power. We gotta get that power. Guys, what one what one is your favorite? Huggy Wuggy? Seek Scary Blue? Zumbo Sauce? What do you think? Ba Ban Ban? Um, Nab Nab? Um, I forgot his name. The Frog Dude? Um, yeah, it's Snow Celine? Bambolina? What do you think? Stinger Flynn? Oh, uh, awesome Huggy Wuggy? Zumbo, yeah, Zumbo sauce. I agree. Boxy, but not not evil Boxy. And then we got evil Boxy Boo. Got Choo Choo Charwells, right? Kissy Missy, Killy Willy, Chester the Otter. Oh hell yeah, thanks. We got Baby Hoggy Woggy, and Blue, and Freddy Fazbear. Oinky oink oink. I'm already, I'm already solving shit. Do not enter. Choo-choo towels. What are these holes? I bet the monster is going to come out of those freaking holes. Uh, I'm trying to think really hard here. Let's see. We need power. Hi, Hiding Bat. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay, okay, okay. 
Got it, got it, got it. Adopt an orphan? Like a like a toy or a person? Okay, that's not can't do that yet. None of that. Let's go back upstairs. The Donald Trump version of the song the the video kills me every time. That fucking got me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, we need the uh, we need the pink tape. Did we ever find the yellow tape or no? I I don't remember. All I remember is baby hoggy. Oh shit! There's an ad starting up soon. By the way, get your water, get your bathroom breaks in. It's gonna be three minutes. Three minute ad break coming coming soon. Starting now ish. Get your water. Don't worry. I will probably still be solving this puzzle. Although I have just gotten a brain blast just now. Just gotten a brain blast. By the time the ads are over, I will have solved this and nothing scary will have happened. Should I wait? I feel like something scary is gonna happen. Let's have a let's have a look downstairs really quick for uh for for a potential uh tape. Looking for some tapes over here. Get water from the bathroom. Got it, boss. I I, I filled my water bottle up with bathroom tap water. Is that was that wrong? You know what horror game I thought was really not scary, like at all. Um, not not Indigo, not Indigo Park. I we talked about that already. Uh, a game that was I feel like trying to be really scary and wasn't. Um, just didn't work for me. Um, Layers of Fear. You know that game? That's the game where the baby runs freaking into the wall. I really, I don't know, I didn't vibe with that game. I enjoyed playing it, it was fairly short. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I didn't really feel that one. But I wanna play more games like it, does that make sense? Let me drink some water. Hoggy Woggy. You know what game I thought was not scary, ad break. Yeah, the ads aren't fucking scary. Try harder. Eight ads? All right, I warned you. I warned you, though. You can't complain about ads anymore, because I warned you. I said it was a three-minute ad break. No more of that, all right? Come on, now. <clears throat> but we're waiting. We're waiting. We're being good, because I feel like some shit's going to start happening. They are banned in my country. Wait, what? Ads? Ads are banned in your country? What? That's so. Oh shit, I got the freaking... Here, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Damn, that means... That means the yellow tape was probably hidden somewhere really obscure and I missed it. Because that was really... I almost, I almost didn't see that one. Damn, we missed the yellow tape. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get the lore now, the good lore. Give Chester money by watching ads. Yeah, give me like the one one hundredth of a cent that you get that I get for you watching an ad. I want that. Actually, I don't know how much money uh, one ad view gives me. I'm not actually sure, but it's not a lot. I make like I make like three dollars in ads like every stream. So it's I mean it's not awesome. I'd have to actually double check. I don't actually know the exact numbers, but uh, it's not very substantial. The Hoggy Woggy. We got Creepy Green. We got Happy Hoggy Woggy. We, look how happy he is. Get skipped ad break. I went to get more. Oh sh shit. You know what actually upsets me? Like literally actually makes me sad. Twitch is going to increase their tier one. Um, In the US. They're going to increase the tier one sub price from five to six dollars on the web which is like come on man like uh, like i don't even blame y'all for unsubscribing because of that because that's every month if you're a subscriber i can't blame you for that as if we don't have enough subscriptions in our lives it's just sad because um it's sad because 
I don't know. Everything's just getting more expensive, and I feel like this came out of nowhere. It's gonna be super expensive in Canada. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was gonna, yeah. It's definitely going up more than a dollar in, can, in Canadian money. You couldn't keep me away from watching? Well, yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. Thank you. I, uh, it's, I'll always be, like, you know, streaming for free. I'm, ne I'm never gonna, like, you know, do, like, sub-only streams or anything like that, but... You know, like, I, I don't know. I just feel like that's gonna... It's gonna probably auto-renew for a lot of people, right? And, and suddenly they're gonna be paying more for however many subs they have. And it's just a bummer. Here, let's put the tape in. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience. You get half of the increase more. I do, I do, I do. But I feel like overall, understandably, more people are gonna unsubscribe, so I don't even know if it's gonna end up like benefiting anybody. Including Twitch, you know? Adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really I'm not exactly like sure. I mean, look, I don't know if they've crunched the numbers or what, but for me, it just feels like the bad energy, you know? But I do, I do appreciate those of you who stay subscribed. It's, I mean, I, I'm subscribed to a couple channels. I, I mean, I'm going to be paying that shit too. While being way older than the person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. <laughs> like I made it so awkward. The interviewer made it so awkward. He didn't have to say that. He could have been like, "All right, great, thank you for answering the question." But he he was like, mm, "All right, well, anyway." Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Where am I powering with this? Aha. Okay. Okay, I, I, I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. You seeing this? I'm doing it. Oh, come on now. Okay, there's probably a better way to- Ah! Let's try that one more time. New interview meta and remind your interviewer of their own mortality. <laughs> what? Like they're they're answering their interview question and you just like pull out a knife and start like caressing it gently. It's like, uh They might be getting they might be trying to get people to switch to turbo. Are they not increasing the turbo prices? I I, I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. Let's see, how do I do this? What's the best way to do this?
bit um I'm a bit dense when it comes to this kind of stuff, so so bear with me please. I'm a little I'm a little, I'm a little dense. Hmm. Baby puzzle, by the way. Listen, listen. I got nothing. You're right. I'm all tangled up. Someone help. Someone help me. I'm all tangled up. Uh, oh, baby puzzle. Oh, baby hoggy woggy. Oh, my God. Give me a second here. I'm, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Check this out. Boom. All right. Forget about it. Fucking forget about it. Oh, come on. Come on now. You you don't you don't want come on. Come on now. What are you cooking? Oh, lasagna. Listen, 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 listen. I think I found the scariest part of this game. What those hands do. The hands conduct electricity, right? All right, don't don't tell me, don't tell me. This is embarrassing enough as it is. You need to be an electrician to solve. Yeah, that that's the problem here. Yo, what the heck? How come it doesn't uh, you know, let me do that? What the heck? Oh, I, I need I need the length. Let's go like this way. And then I'm I'm like calculating every possible wired combination here. All of them in my huge brain. I'm calculating it right now. Oh my god. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I will not be embarrassed like this. Forget about it. No. No, I refuse. What do you mean, Chris? No, stop it. I gotta get both of these, right? I gotta get both of these lit up and connected to that switch, right? Is that is that is that what what's going on here? Hang on here, my aim's a little bit off. I can't just connect these two. It won't work, right? Okay, so it won't work. Either that or or the, I, I'm not I'm supposed to not touch the. Uh, the copper pillar. No, no, I'm supposed to touch both of them. So, I gotta get both of those babies in. So, you're 
You're supposed to, yeah, we're supposed to touch both. Got it. I feel like I should be able to touch it now. Hello? It's not letting me... Oh, I was standing too close. Are you trying? Clint, be nice to me. Uh, it was, I was too close and it wouldn't let me, you know. You know, this make a friend kind of looks like the Family Guy font, right? Like, doesn't that look like Family Guy? F-A-M-I, there's no L. That's like, literally like, fucking Family Guy. It seems today that all you see is Poppy's Playtime Chapter 1 and... Fucking... <laughs> Ugh. Never mind. So I don't have... Wait, do I have... Wait, do I have fall damage, actually? Because I, I heard my heartbeat for a second. Now you sound like Lois. Peter! The horse is here. Ooh, it's getting kind of loud. Let me turn the audio down a little bit. Hmm. Seems today that all you see is Poppy's Playtime chapters 1, 2, and 3. But where those good old fashion horrors all right let's uh let's yank some of these make some toys gotta watch my back over here what do they sell at chesty's playtime chuggy wuggy and, um, Boxy Boo, but not, like, evil. And we have evil Boxy Boo. We have Squid Game Huggy Wuggy. We have Baby Huggy Wuggy. And Blue. And Freddy Fazbear. Oink, oink, oink. What's your favorite? Nice. I'm making a friend now. I feel like something... I feel like something nefarious is happening. You know what I mean? I feel like... Something evil is happening. I would look behind me, but I, I feel like someone's gonna come out from... You know... Someone's gonna come out from behind the walls and, and freaking hug me to death. Which is why I'm looking. Okay, it looks pretty good. Pretty cool. I like it. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. The eyes following you? Wait, what? Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> also, hi, Possum. Hi, how are you? Me, 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 me. Hope you're having a good week so far. Me, 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 me. Okay, well, I feel like if I try to leave this area, that's when the crazy shit's gonna start happening, right? Like, is that is that what's going on here? That's when the crazy shit kicks in. There's a little handle on that thing, which implies that it gets to be moved around later. Maybe when I'm chased around or something. 
Man, those little factory things are so hungry. Look at them. They're, 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 I bet their names are Hungry Wungry. Where do I go? Hmm. Toontown Online radicalized me. Huh? Chesty Woasty? Nice. Fucking nice. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, Rick. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's have another look around here. What have we unlocked now that the power is on? Besides the levers and all this stuff. Certainly, I can't go through there. Any pathways over here that are lit up? I wouldn't want to make another toy, right? Oh, right, right, right. I put my toy in the toy meter. Got it. Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay, why does it look so dark and ominous over there? Why is this happening? Oh, God, here we go. Bah! Uh, don't like him. I'm gonna juke him. Boom. Out of here. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, no. He hoggy wuggied me. Damn. Kiss him? He kissed me. You dead? Gee, tell me something I don't know. Alright, here we fucking go. Oop. Do not enter. I see, I see. You gotta go in the place that says do not enter. You got evil hoggy wuggy. I hope that was right. Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> I went backwards! Oh, don't die just yet. Who's talking to me? No! Uh, oh, it's that guy? It's that guy. Yeah, you're right. Sloppy kiss him. Hi, Wiss. I don't think... There's too much teeth. I think there's too much teeth. How did he fit in here? It's so He's so tall. Oh, I do have a flashlight. I, I have a flashlight. When did I get that? You gotta go through the corridors that are marked with the, uh, the writing. Just like portal. Kind of portal core, to be honest. Apparently, he, he crawls pretty fast. Turn back? Oh, don't turn back. Okay. <laughs> bro, bro, where? Where? Bro, where? Ah! Ah! <laughs> they faked me out with that hallway. Guy who's only played Portal. It literally... That's literally Portal Core. If that's the only- come on. It's a puzzle game where you have to go off the beaten path and it says shit on the walls. You know what I'm talking about. Can't run with them tiny legs. I scurry, I scurry. I skitter. You know, I think Huggy Wuggy is not a family guy. If you had to ask me. Uh, 
Got it, got it, got it. Keep running, keep running. Not in there. See, I'm just looking for any sort of, like, detours or whatever. Nope, not that. No! I'm dead. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Could I go in there? I could have crouched. I, I could have fucking crouched. Alright. Alright, I got it now. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Are the redeems supposed to be off? Oh, shit! That's a good point. I should have turned them back on. They were off because of Sunday. Let me do that right now. Thank you for reminding me. Let's see. We got Bowser. We got Receive Wisdom. Pet the Otter. Boop the Otter. Buy Chester Coin. Throw a Pokeball. Lose the shirt, made Chester, punk Chester, and, uh, undefined. undefined. Uh-oh. He should have said, damn it, I farted too early. Um. I'll leave turn, put something on head off for now, just because I want to focus on the game. But we'll, we'll have that back on next stream, if I remember. Which I won't, so you'll have to remind me again. See, the thing, the thing with this is it doesn't matter how um, fast you're running. He'll always, like, be right behind you is what I notice. Like, I'm doing really good right now, and I hear him crawling like crazy. Which I think is not fair. Okay. We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Go, go, go. Turn this corner. Going straight, I think. Hoggy woggy. I think it's gonna be on our left here. Uh, dude, I hope this is the right way. I don't fucking know. Ah! Dude, I can't fucking see. Oh, fuck, not that way. Oh, come on. Give me a fucking break. Whew. Do you think he's okay? I mean, that looked like it hurt. He's fine? Okay. Because, you know, I don't want to be... That's a lawsuit right there. I mean, that's like an OSHA violation or something. And I'm technically an employee, so... Uh, yeah, I mean... The only thing scarier than that is a fat lawsuit. So, uh, we better we better be careful. Oh, Whew. I just realized how big and sexy this giant lizard guy is. Hmm, now that you mention it. I don't think Huggy Wuggy's a lizard. Therefore, I don't like... Come on, this is literally portal. Got that. Final log in relation. Experiment one zero zero. Always be doing experiments and shit. Come on now. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Still missing. Still less good than Portal. I love Portal 2. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I saw, um, you know, um, what's his name? Steve, Steven Merchant? Was it, is that his name? The guy that plays Wheatley? I saw a headline where he was like, oh, we can't, liber we can't make jokes nowadays because of woke. Uh, and I clicked into the article and I, like, found the interview. And it wasn't, you know... Rightfully, people were clowning on him for saying that, but I feel like the headline made it sound a lot worse. Like, his actual take was very, like... It was, you know, still a little bit eye-rolly, but not so bad as it seemed, you know? I think, like, Ricky Gervais is more into that, like, because of woke, we can't be funny anymore kind of shit. Um, but Stephen Merchant's line was a little bit... It was a little bit more, like... 
I don't know. It was still a little. It was still a little bit like, what are you saying? But it was. It was a bit. You know, it wasn't like full on like, oh, I can't fucking you know, <laughs> can't joke about anything. It was. It was more about like, how like the culture shift is changing, and he was like very much acknowledged that like the kinds of comedy that pa- that that you know w- were considered okay in the past might not have been okay. And like, it wasn't necessarily like a you know like a you know oh things are worse now it was just like more like things are changing and we have to adapt um you know i don't want to you know sound like an apologist or whatever but i feel like it was misrepresented so you know i i want to say i still like um I, I still like him you know maybe maybe that's cope i don't know but it was the journalism was very dubious for characterizing like like picking like a bit of that quote from the from the interview and making that the headline it, it was it just feels i don't know disingenuous or something i don't know i you know cuz i like him i actually don't like Ricky Gervais like he makes me so mad but Stephen Merchant he seems kind of cool so I'll, I'll give him another chance you know Is it, is it time for Poppy? Time for Poppy to play time? Poppy time of the play? You opened my case. Oh, sorry. I should have asked first. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, we did it. Yo, we did it. Yo, uh. Wow, we beat that shit in an hour and a half. In an hour, really, because we, we started a half an hour in. Okay. Short stream, maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know if I've got... That chase sequence kind of um, drained me a little bit, I'll be honest. Although, is uh, I don't know. Is chapter two any longer? Any shorter? I know it costs money. I haven't bought it yet. So I don't think I'll be playing that today. Poppy Playtime part two? Next time, next time. This was fun. I'm in it now. I like it. Chapter two is a bit longer. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to commit to a whole longer chapter. I mean, maybe the next one will take two hours. This one took one hour, and then we can, you know, we can do another short stream next week. I, I've been a little busy lately, so, uh, you know, I don't want to overextend myself. Oh, aren't they all kind of cookie cutter copies after a while? Well, I saw the cutest looking cat and dog mascot from chapter three. And that's kind of the only reason why I'm playing Poppy's Playtime is because of the cat and the dog mascot. I thought they were adorable and I liked their character designs. Also, I don't know, this is a pretty well made game. I feel like the puzzles are good. Even though I got stuck on that one puzzle. Okay, the puzzle, because there's like basically one puzzle. There's one puzzle and one chase sequence. You know, <laughs> it's like a demo. But uh, I'm into it. I mean, it seems pretty well made. They are cute. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here for the cute characters. I think a game being good is secondary for me. Kind of like Indigo Park? No, I mean, definitely, yeah. Um, the demo got a movie deal. Wait, is there a Poppy's Playtime movie coming out? No fucking way. That means there's hope, right? That means there's hope that there's an Indigo Park movie that'll come out one day, right? You're giving me hope right now? Because I want to see that. We need more furry bait movies. I'll say it. I know I'm so brave for saying that. So brave. I'll say what everyone's thinking, but they're too scared to say. Yeah. There's got to be mm, more furry bait, actually. Yeah, that's right. Hold the applause. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. Adorable and horror make a good combo. True. Make everything furry. Everything is furry. It's just got to be more obvious. 
Everything secretly is furry. Take the most unfurry media you can possibly think of. I don't know. What what what's the least furry anything you'll find on TV? Um um I don't know. Friends? Yeah, that's furry. <laughs> Alex Jones? Dude, he's got a fucking frog sona probably. Family guy? Are you kidding me? Family guy? Sports? Forget about it. CNN? Army? <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever. It's all furry, okay? It's all furry. Don't even freaking forget about it. Uh, I've been uh, seeing far too many cynics punching down on furry bait stuff. It makes me sad. You know, if I had- if- uh, I- I want to say that furry bait- like, the furry hate is- is kind of old now, right? Like, that's kind of like the classic, like, 2010s humor, right? Like, 2010s 4chan, like, oh, fucking fur f slurs and stuff like that. Like, that's like- humor from, like, 15 years ago, right? Like, I feel like now we're finally, like, at least appreciating it, like, even people who aren't furries are like, well, we gotta admit, like, furries, you know, they 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 work in every, uh, like, industry that keeps society afloat. Uh, welcome, welcome, Rox. Uh, can I ask for, please, English only, because we can't moderate non-English messages. So I don't know what you're saying, and therefore, uh, you know, I, I can't ensure that it's appropriate. Um, and that's, that's my fault, but it thems the rules. Um, there are non-furries who think furries are huggable. Huggy Wuggy? Is, is Huggy Wuggy furry? Uh, I want to say yes. Oh no, from actual furries, Indigo Park is getting a lot of hate right now because they feel it's intentionally made for cash grabs. Hate by who, though? Like, are furries, like, rolling their eyes and saying that it's too pandering? Or is, are people saying that it's, I don't know. I feel like anything popular is going to get hate. I don't I don't necessarily think that I mean that's not okay, but it's also like I'm also not surprised, you know what I mean? But you know, the best we can do is support things we like. And and I, I do I do I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. But I wanna say on the whole see the problem is when things get it's not that popular things get hate. It's that if something becomes popular too fast then it, like, it has to kind of do with the way, like, information is, like, disseminated on the internet. It will, like, overstretch through its, like, intended audience instead of, like, naturally expand through, like, word of mouth and stuff. And then once it, like, gets put everywhere because of, like, how, like, algorithms and stuff work, you know, people who use social media will get flooded with something because the algorithm is, like, this thing is blowing up, this thing is blowing up, look at this. Um, And that's kind of the reason why people will just start hating it. They'll be tired of seeing it. They'll look for excuses to like shit on it. And it won't necessarily be for a good reason. I mean, normally it won't be. I think for Indigo Park, it could possibly be because its furriness is one of the most like noticeable things about it that people who it's not for will look at that and be like, oh, I fucking hate this or whatever. Um, It's not, you know, to the fault of the game. It's just, uh, I want to say it's like social media fault. I don't know. It's sad to see. We hate to see that. But, um... I don't know. I really enjoyed that game, so... I hope that doesn't deter them. Um, yeah, and also, like, if it's a cash grab, yeah, well, people want to make money for the shit they spend time on, you know? Gee. Is that... Is that so bad? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I heard that Poppy Playtime, the developer, dipped their toes into NFTs briefly when when it was just Chapter 1, and then I think they walked back on it. So it's like, okay, you know, that was criticism. We're still allowed to be critical of media. And then they walked back on it, and now I'm playing it because I guess it's probably okay now. I don't know. Uh, but the game is good, you know? Like, people... um just got to use their head sometimes. Chapter one of Indigo Park was free. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, it's free. It's a cash grab. It's free. You don't have to buy chapter two, you know? <laughs> um, Tanky leftist furries sometimes are like nothing furry is supposed to make any profit for any reason. 
that that doesn't seem that just doesn't seem right though right that doesn't that doesn't seem right to me uh well i don't know i'm liking this we'll be playing more poppy's playtime probably uh i think cash grab is more appropriate for things that are not good because it's like oh well you're trying to make a quick buck but if it's like actually good, you can't call it a cash grab. It, that's just me. That's just a media. That's just a video game. You know that you can't. Anything that makes money isn't a cash grab. Um. But yeah, that was fun. Oh, it's creepy how the music just stops and doesn't replay. Oh, I clicked out of it. Okay, I clicked out of it. My bad. Sorry about that. Cash grub. I'm a cash grub. I'm a little grub. I farted. I freaking farted. Sorry. <laughs> it depends on the intention of the creator. If the creator is passionate, it will be good. Ah, uh, that's a little optimistic. But passion's always good, I guess. There's got to be some pa some some passionate creators that just make full-on stinkers, right? Um, but I don't know. That could be interesting in its own right. The authors are kind of weird assholes. The franchise had controversies with merch and NFTs, yeah. But at least I'd say that the team wants to make an actual good game and they're passionate about it. Yeah, I um I don't really know where where I stand on on developers being assholes and weird because um there was like a famous famous asshole, the guy that made Fez is like a famous asshole, right? But fuck, I love Fez. That game is fucking good. Like I'll never say Fez is bad because the dude sucks. And I don't know, I guess we have to, like, weigh them on a scale of, um, just, like, a personal, like, you know, how much is too, too much of an asshole for you, personally? You know, are they, like, bigoted, or are they just, like, weirdly unlikable? <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes it's best not to ask too many questions, I think. There's some clear-cut cases where I'm like, I'm not playing that game ever. And then other times it's like, okay, don't tell me. <laughs> I want to just, just don't tell me. Is that a cop-out? Maybe. If it was bad enough, I'd hear about it. Um, too much knowledge is, it just, it's, it's just, it's too much. Fez guy seems like he was just unable to cope after Fez, he quit games completely forever. Well... I do- I do wish him the best, though. Hmm. Alright, well, that was fun. Yeah, I guess I want to keep it short today. Um, maybe we'll just call it. Maybe we'll call it. It's- it's 3.20pm for me, and- and, uh... I don't know. I may, Maybe I'll get some more work done after this. Got some stuff to work on off-stream. <clears throat> so normally when I end at like seven, 6 or 7, I'm like, well, I don't want to do anything for the rest of the day. I got to eat something and then like clean up the kitchen a bit and that'll take two hours. And it's 8 p.m. and it's like, well, I'm not going to start working on something else. Short stream, go rest, you EP otter and eat something. You too, you, you too. I hope you all get some rest and eat something good. Thanks for hanging out today. It was kind of chill. Uh, you know, I like, I like a short stream sometimes, because I don't feel too rushed. Uh, and yeah, um, uh, that's all I got to yap about, really. I thought of playing Balatro, or Balatro today, Balatro, Balatro, I don't want to say it. But, uh, we'll, we'll save it, I guess, we'll save it. Because I made a dumb tweet about playing cards yesterday, and everyone was saying Bal Balatro. Excuse me, oh my gosh. <clears throat> That's on my radar. It was gifted to me. Shout out to Tuffy for gifting that to me. And shout out to Maxi for gifting me Animal Well. I don't know if y'all want to see me play that. 
But I've been really interested in playing that, so so thank you, Maxi, if you're here. Which I think you are not, but if you ever get wind of this, thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. Companion Cube, thank you for the reset. Thank you, thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. We're gonna look for a raid now. Outro is hella addictive. Dude, that's what I wanna see. That's what I wanna see. I'm about to start playing Animal Well after I finish Paper Mario. Yeah, 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 and we'll be playing more Paper Mario too, which I've been really, really enjoying. Um, and that's awesome that you've been playing it too. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe by the time I get to Animal Well, you would have played it already, so there won't be any, like, issues about spoiling it and stuff. That'll be... That'll... That's... That's what I'm going for. Uh, alright, let me take a look here and see who's on. It's a bit early. Let me take a look, see. So, I'm thinking... We can raid Hollow. Hollow the Lynx. Looks like he just came... Maybe he was BRB for a second, but it looks like he's back now. And and he's playing Little Little Kitty Big City, which is a game that I've been kind of eyeballing. I've been eyeballing a little bit. Looks really chill. But he's back now. And has only been on for an hour and a half. So... I don't think we've raided Hollow before, so why don't we say hi? Hollow is super, super cool. Um, and yeah, there you go. Hollow the links. The raid message, I don't know what the raid message should be. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Here, I'll get you something stupid. Here, this will be the raid message. There you go. <laughs> Guys, what one is your favorite? Hoggy Woggy. There, that'll... You don't have to fuck... I completely understand if you don't want to copy and paste that. You know what? I get it. But I had to give you something, so I did. But anyway, yeah. What, what, what one's your favorite? Zumbo Sauce? Ban Ban? Guys, what one is your favorite? Huggy Woggy Seek? Scary Blue? A Zumbo Sauce? Ben Ben. All right. Um, Enjoy the raid, ben everyone. Ben. Bye. Um, I got his name. The Bye. Dude, and, um, yeah. Flo Saline, Ben Malina, Sting of Lynn, a pillow boat, and awesome Huggy Wuggy. This is a me, but, like, I don't want to use it. And Blue and, uh, I mean, um, Kissy Missy, Kill Me Willy, um, Choo Choo Tarvos. Right, boxy boo, but like not evil, and we have evil the boxy.